I'm Elizabeth Curran, Senior Design Manager for the Color Team at Hyundai North America. And Brad Arnold, and I'm the Senior Exterior Design Manager at Hyundai North America. When we were informed of the project and designing the Beast for the Uncharted movie, uh, we were really excited. Uh, for me, I didn't know that we were that they were making an Uncharted movie. I was only familiar with the video game, and so we looked at a lot of that footage uh, to help inform the design decisions on the exterior of the vehicle. Yeah, and with me even finding out about it, I was excited because my kids had played the video game. So my two older kids kind of informed me a little bit more in detail of what it is, and I used their input on that too. It was a lot of deep breaths, you know, it's a it's, it's high stress moment, especially when they say it has to be there for the movie at this time in Italy or where, I think that's where it went, right, yeah. to Italy or something like that. Normally our projects take, what, two to three years to get a production vehicle on the road, yeah. and to see something come to fruition that fast, it's, it's rewarding as a designer. So it was a really quick process, maybe only a, a week or two in terms of design, overall design time, and then we were straight to building the vehicle at the shop. The thing that stood out to us was that it was uh, such an extreme adventure. We wanted to make sure that the design looked appropriate within those environments. So we started at the wheels, you know, bigger fender claddings, wider stance to the vehicle. Definitely we tried to make the, the ruggedness and the capability of the vehicle a lot higher. So you'll see a lot of protection both front and rear. Yeah, and w within that protection, we used textures that were like stipple textures and things that could hide scuffing and marring if it did go on this adventure. Obviously the Beast is the most extreme version of what this, you know, an adventurous Tucson can be. But a lot of those elements stayed true to the XRT and we were trying to make the XRT look as rugged as possible. Um, so again, starting at the wheels, bigger fender claddings, more protective looking armor on the front and rear of the vehicle. Even on the mirror housings, you know, the, just to make it more aggressive, they're black on the production version with the surround on the, the windows being black too, so it gives it a more sinister feel. I'm super excited to see it in the theater. Um, it's one of the only times where we design something and then we give it to someone else to kind of do whatever they want with it. So I'm excited to see how it's used and I'm excited to see in what scenes, how it's integrated into the story. Yeah, I think that the customers will really like question like, what is that? Like it's gonna catch the eye to be like, oh, that's a cool looking car. So they'll, they'll kind of dig in and maybe be surprised that it's a Hyundai.